Hey everyone, Corey from Corey Reviews here. I haven't done a Blu-ray update in a while. So this is everything that I purchased from the Best Buy Upgrade and Save, which was about like a month ago. It's just Blu-ray madness right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Alright, so most of these titles were only $5, so starting off with the first one I got, a great deal. This one wasn't supposed to be $5, it was supposed to be $10, but they had it priced wrong, so I got it for 5 And that is Cyrus. Really funny movie from the Duplass brothers. Uh, John C. Riley, Jonah Hill, uh, Marissa Tomei, Catherine Keener. Uh, just a really funny, uh, like, independent kind of dramedy, if you will. I highly recommend this one if you haven't seen it. All right, next up for $5 was Frequency. Uh, Warner Brothers released a pretty decent amount of $5 titles for the upgrade and save. Um, I was able to get a few of them. There was two of them that I wanted to get, but I didn't get. The first one was Strip Tease with Demi Moore. Uh, I haven't seen it. I heard it's kind of like a cult movie. And the other one was Disclosure, which has Demi Moore and Michael Douglas. I was going to get that one for $5 as well, but I passed it up. And I ended up getting Frequency and a few other ones. Uh, but Frequency is one of the first movies I ever watched on DVD back when I first got a DVD player. It's a great time travel movie. I will watch anything to do with like time travel. I just love the genre. And this is definitely an underrated movie. And I highly recommend Frequency. It's a great film. This one was a big surprise. I didn't think that Best Buy still had these available. Uh, I was able to get this for, I think, $12 or $13 uh, after the upgrade and save. And that is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is the Best Buy exclusive version with the cool lenticular slipcover. It's still unpackaged and everything, but... I love that slipcover. It's a great film. Anything John Hughes is a must own. Next up was another big surprise. This slipcover has been really hard to find. And I've been wanting to buy the movie for a while. But I've been wanting it with the slipcover. And thankfully it just kind of popped up at uh, my local Best Buy. And I think I picked this one up for also like $13 after the upgrade and save. And that is Everything Must Go. A very underrated um, Will Ferrell film. It's uh, one of his dramas. Uh, but it's also pretty funny as well. But... More so dramatic, heartwarming, kind of a coming of age, even though he's like a middle, middle aged man. It's kind of a coming of age for a middle aged man. Uh, but it's really, really good. And another one I would highly recommend. Uh, but this slipcover has been super hard to find, and I'm happy I finally have it. Another one that I got for $5 Cedar Rapids, one of my favorite movies of last year. I absolutely love this movie. Um, it's, the, the thing I love about this movie more than anything is the characters. I think it has some of the most likable characters I've ever seen in a movie. I just want to hang out with all of them. Love this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. It's still unpackaged, but for $5, couldn't pass it up. This is another surprise as well. I didn't think that I was going to be able to find this this cheap with the slipcover intact. And that is for uh, the first Diary of a Wumpy Kid. And this is a cool slipcover because it opens out like a book. And it has like multiple different pages. It's it's still packaged, but uh, it's a really cool slipcover. It was only five dollars, so it's a great price. I really enjoyed the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. It just kind of makes me feel like a kid again. These type of movies that I would watch when I was a kid. Next up is an Adam Sandler classic, Happy Gilmore on Blu-ray. Five dollars. I wish that they would have had Billy Madison. That would have been awesome to pick both of those up. Uh, but Happy Gilmore, they had it for five bucks, and it was it was it's a no brainer. Um, I personally really like uh, Adam Sandler. Some of his films lately have been hit or miss. I actually really like That's My Boy, but this is just one of his greatest. It's so quotable, so many classic scenes. I can't wait to give this one another watch, and uh, can't wait to see also how the transfer is. This is a comedy that's kind of hit or miss for some people, but it was only five dollars. It had the slip cover. I've never seen the ext uh, the uh, extended cut. And that is for Hall Pass. Uh, this is a Fairly Brothers movie. Had a, has a great cast in it. I've seen it a few times when I when I saw it in theaters. I thought, eh. But then it, it's been coming on HBO a lot, and I would watch it here and there. And I'm like, you know what? It's not too bad. It's kind of fun and enjoyable from time to time. So I thought, you know, if, if I find it with a subcover for five dollars, I'll pick it up. And my Best Buy had one copy, so I told myself I was going to do it, so I picked it up. The extended cut is only like six minutes longer, but I'm excited to check it out and see what it has to offer. This was a blind buy. I know it's crazy that's a blind buy. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary special edition of Memento. It's the director approved, of course, a Christopher Nolan film. Um, I haven't seen it. I've heard uh, great things about it. I can't wait to get this one to watch. It's still in the package. Just so many things I need to watch, but... Uh, it's definitely up there. This is kind of a guilty pleasure, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I enjoy it. You know, every now and then you kind of need a, just a fun kids movie, kind of like the you know Diary of, of a Wimpy Kid. Um, but this one is Alvin and the Chipmunks. The first one, 
The sequels weren't the greatest, but this one was pretty fun for what it was. It's not the greatest movie, but for $5, what the hell. Another one for $5. This was actually a new release as well, which was a pretty big surprise. And the only Scorsese movie I picked up, the last upgrade and save, I picked up a lot of Scorsese films. But this is the only one I ended up picking up this time around, and that is Mean Streets. Uh, this is a blind buy as well, I know. Another one I need to get to, but yeah, I've heard, again, so many great things about this one, so... I'll definitely get around to checking it out pretty soon, so that's uh, Mean Streets, only for five bucks. All right, next up was another new release, and I've been waiting for this Blu-ray to come out for the longest time. Uh, mainly with the theatrical cut, there was a Canadian version that had just the director's cut only, but I love the theatrical cut a lot more than the director's cut. So for five dollars, I was so happy, it was only five dollars. Um, and that is The Butterfly Effect, just one of my favorite films. I could watch this again and again, another time travel movie I love. Again, anything time travel. And this is by far the best Ashton Kutcher movie or anything Ashton Kutcher in general. Definitely go out of your way to check this out if you haven't seen it. Um, I ended up making a combo pack with it with my uh, DVD and, of course, the Blu-ray disc right there. But uh, it does come with the director's cut and the theatrical cut and everything that was on the Infinifilm uh, DVD release. This was a blind buy, but I did end up watching this one uh, the, the night before The Dark Knight Rises came out. And to kind of, I guess, tie in with it, uh, another Christopher Nolan film. But that is uh, Insomnia. Again, only five bucks. These type of movies I'm not usually too fond of just because, you know, it's kind of the whole, like, law and order, police, procedural sort of thing. But this was fantastic. Robin Williams, Al Pacino give amazing, riveting performances. It's just dark and eerie. I absolutely love the setting. The funny thing, though, is that inside it came with a, a ticket to see Inception. Uh, too bad that uh, Inception is no longer in theaters, but uh, yeah, so Insomnia for five bucks, great film, great price. This was one I was really happy to get. Uh, I haven't seen this one drop in price that much lately, and for five dollars, I had to get it right away. It was one of the first things I picked up from the Upgrade and Save, and that is Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. Uh, another blind buy, I hadn't even seen the first Superman film, so I went and watch the first Superman film and then I'll watch this one kind of a double feature. It's kind of like the same story, it's just kind of like cut in half and just put into two films. Uh, but this movie was fan freaking fantastic. It, you know, the special effects are definitely of the time, but if you could get past that, it is a great film. It's probably one of the best uh, superhero sequels I've seen. And if you haven't seen Richard Donner's Superman films, I would definitely recommend it and definitely pick it up on Blu-ray for $5. Couldn't pass this one up. Another one I couldn't pass up for $5. This was a great deal. Um, it is the From Dust Till Dawn 4 film collection. It comes with all three From Dust Till Dawn movies, and then it comes with, I think, like an hour and a half long documentary of the first From Dust Till Dawn. It's all on one disc, but the transfers are actually pretty good. And the documentary Full Tilt Boogie is really good. It covers, like, every aspect. It doesn't really cover, like, the filmmaking part of it. It covers, like, everyone else behind the scene, which is really cool because most documentaries don't do that. It's pretty funny because there's one part of the documentary where there's, like, you know, the catering people that make all the food. They're like, oh, our food's so amazing. It's so good. And all the celebrities love our food. And George Clooney said that he liked my food or whatever. And then, like, at the end, you see, like, a, a bunch of people, like, you know, like, all a lot of people working on the film. They're like on a bus together and they're going home for the night it's like midnight and they're all tired and everything and um they're like oh the food sucked today and you know the the food the catering food is so awful and also like quentin tarantino's assistants like you know i know he has a wife but i'm in love with quentin tarantino and it's just it's really funny and if you haven't seen from dust till dawn it's a great film and the documentary is also equally as great all right so these are two movies i've been dying to see on blu-ray for the longest time uh, two like just nostalgic classics movies I grew up watching I think my mom said she took me to see these in theaters when I was younger and this is the blu-ray set of Father of the Bride 1 and 2 um, I adore these movies I mean these are movies I could watch continuously over and over again they are some of my favorite movies of all time I absolutely love these movies I'm still hoping that they make a third one I would love to see a third movie a third Father of the Bride film in like you know, see where all the characters are. But these are definite classics. The, the transfers are pretty decent. Um, they, they put them all on one disc, which I'm not really sure why, but either way, the transfers are good for what they are. But they're just great movies. I, I didn't have them on DVD, so I think I paid like $15 for this, so not that bad. And I just love these movies. I Like I said, I could watch them again and again. All right, next up for $5, I got Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Um, I own the second two, uh, Spy Who Shagged Me, and gold member but I didn't own this one so I had to pick this one up uh, just to complete the collection it was only five dollars and of course Austin Powers is classic 
Next up, this is a new release. Um, I think I picked this up for around like twelve or thirteen dollars. That is Casa de mi Padre, the newest Will Ferrell all Spanish movie. Um, it comes with a slip cover. It's still packaged, and uh, it's a great movie. I personally really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite movies of this year. I thought it was really funny. You know, just a really funny kind of spoof on the whole telenovela sort of thing. And you can't really go wrong with Will Ferrell. And I enjoyed it. It was a good price, so had to pick it up. Next up, a huge surprise, uh, Pleasantville for $5. Um, I remember watching this on the television when I was younger. I watched the first half of it, but I never got around to checking out the second half or just watching the whole thing again. But I saw it for $5, had to pick it up. I love the cast, and it was actually directed by Gary Ross, who directed The Hunger Games. Not only was it directed by Gary Ross, but one of the producers was actually Steven Soderbergh, who recently directed Magic Mike and Contagion and the Oceans Trilogy and stuff like that. But, um... This is a fan freaking tastic movie. It's one of those movies that another one I could watch again and again. It is a great, great film. I, I, I love the whole concept of going, you know, transporting through the television, you know, entering the world of Pleasantville, and, you know, every time they change something and it turns to color. It, it is a great, great movie. Uh, it's a one disc, $5. This is one, another one I cannot highly recommend enough. Next up, had to pick this one up, one of my favorite comedies, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. You know, this is definitely self-explanatory. It is a comedy classic. Um, you can't go wrong with anything Harold and Kumar. Uh, it's a two-disc set inside and does have, like, uh, background artwork as well. And uh, so I'm happy to own this on Blu-ray. I, I never had it, so for $5.00. I'm glad I own this one. I just need to get uh, Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Next up, I picked this one up for, I think, $10. Uh, not that bad of a price considering it's the Best Buy exclusive. And that is for The Ring. And it comes with this really cool Lenteco slipcover. I know that Paramount is re-releasing this. Uh, and it's just going to be like the movie only like this, I believe. And uh, the Best Buy exclusive has this really cool slipcover. So I'm happy I got this one. It was only $10. And I think when they re-release it, it's going to be $10. So, you know, might as well get it as a Best Buy exclusive with a slipcover. And it's a good, it's a really good horror film. It's not really all that, like, you know, jump scare, jump scare sort of thing. But it's a good kind of thriller. You know, it has some really creepy images. I remember seeing this in theaters when it came out and it just creeped me out. There's one scene with, like, a girl, like, hitting herself in a hammer in the closet or something that just, like, made the whole entire theater jump. I remember also when I saw this in theater, like someone's phone went off and people just started like freaking out. It was so much fun. And um, I haven't seen it actually since I saw it in theaters just because I just haven't had, had the nerve really to watch it again. But um, so I'm, you know, excited to check this one out again. Next up was a blind buy. I know I haven't seen this movie. I'm crazy, but I'm definitely going to get around to watching it soon. That is Stand By Me. I wish it had the slipcover. That's a, I know the slipcover is very hard to find. It's out of print and everything. Uh, but you know, for five dollars, I couldn't pass this one up. It has a lot of special features and like a retrospective uh, uh, documentary and a picture and picture commentary and everything. It's really cool. Uh, inside artwork and a disc and everything. So yeah, stand by me for five dollars. Can't wait to check this one out for the first time. Next up uh, for five dollars, Blade Two. Uh, probably probably the best of the Blade movies. I need to go back and watch all of them again, but. Uh, this is one that they end up releasing, uh, Warner Brothers ended up re releasing for $5 as well. And just a one disc on the inside. And lots of good special features. Of course, anything Guillermo del Toro, he always puts a lot of good special features on his movies. So uh, lots of good stuff on here. It's a great film. This is one I was really excited to see. I had no idea that any Best Buy would still have this. And that is the Best Buy exclusive Anchorman Rich Mahogany Edition. It comes with two discs inside. Uh, the first disc is like the movie, and the second disc has the Wake Up Ron Burgundy movie, which is like compiled of like a bunch of deleted scenes that makes like a whole movie or something like that. But the Wake Up Ron Burgundy DVD alone is out of print and going for like 30 bucks. And I think I paid like, I think $20 for this set. It was still full price, but considering how hard it is to find nowadays, I don't know why my Best Buy had it, but it just kind of popped up and I had to pick it up. And also inside it comes with... Ron Burgundy's personal like journal or something like that, which has just like a bunch of scribbling inside. Really funny stuff. And then a pack of trading cards, uh, which I'm definitely not going to open. I'm going to try to keep all the stuff as in as mint condition as I can. But yeah, the Best Buy exclusive Anchorman set. Very very happy to own this. 
All right, next up, I got these three for $8 a piece. I'm just going to show them off all in one. Um, they all release together. I end up getting another one, but that will come in an, uh, another update. The first one up is High Fidelity, a John Cusack film. By the way, these are all blind buys. Well, except for one of them I think I've watched when I was younger, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, High Fidelity. This was pretty good. I enjoyed this one. Um, I heard a lot of amazing things about it, so I need to watch this one again probably to see if I like it even more, but... Uh, I enjoy it, and I th like I said, I think I paid like $8 a piece for these. Next up is Gross Point Blank. I really enjoyed this one. I actually think I enjoyed this one more than I did this one. But again, I need to go back and watch these two again, and, and just in general. But I really enjoyed this one. Um, Mini Driver looked so hot in this movie. This is one of those John Cusack movies I could watch again and again. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, Gross Point Blank, definitely check this one out. And this is one I think I might have watched when I was a kid, because I was like, I don't think I've ever seen it, but but then when I started watching, I'm like, I think I've seen this when I was younger. That is Adventures in Babysitting, and this was great. The one thing I didn't really like about it, though, was the ending, uh, just because I felt bad for um, the older the older son in the movie uh, that has a crush on Elizabeth Shue's character. I felt so bad for him, you know? It's kind of like he stood up for her and everything, but he doesn't get the girl. I just felt really bad. And by the way, I know that's a spoiler, but this movie's been out for 25 freaking years. But this was a great film either way. I just kind of wish that he would have got Elizabeth Shue at the end just because he stood up for it and everything and this rich kid comes in and gets her like that in just a matter of a few hours. I was like, damn it to hell. Adventures of Babysitting, great, great film. And I thought the, the transfer on all these were actually pretty good. They're lacking special features, which kind of sucks, but for $8 a piece, I'm not going to complain. They're all great films and all must-owns in my opinion. And these two are probably the best deals I got at the Best Buy upgrade and save this time around. I got Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This is the Best Buy exclusive version with come, which comes with some extra special features, a different cover as well. And it was, this was only $5. This was originally going for like $29.99 and I got it for 5 bucks. Great deal. It's pretty nicely embossed. Um, and then it comes with three discs inside. So $5 for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, Best Buy exclusive, awesome. And then to go with that, I also got the Mission Impossible Extreme Trilogy set for $5. $5 for all three Mission Impossible movies. Some of them are kind of lacking special features, but still for $5, I'm not going to complain at all. Um, it comes with a nice embossed set and or outer slip box. And then inside it comes with all three movies, Mission Impossible 1, 2 and three great price i mean so ultimately ten dollars for all four mission impossible movies so it's like 250 a film it's a great great deal i wish i would have gotten more of these but you know they were selling out really fast but for five dollars one of the best deals i got in a while and this was actually the last thing i think i bought from the upgrade and save uh one of my absolute favorite films of this year i got it for 14.99 i would have easily paid freaking full 30 40 50 dollars for this i absolutely love this film I've already seen it like multiple times on Blu-ray since I got it. Just one of my favorites. Silent House. I know some people are mixed on this movie, but I absolutely adore this film. Uh, it's just so good. It's one of the best horror films I've seen in quite a while. I just love thought-provoking, mind-fuck horror films, thrillers, whatever, psychological thrillers. So good. Elizabeth Olsen kicked major ass in this movie. Her performance was so great. Yeah, I love the slipcover on this one and inside blu-ray dvd combo pack yeah so silent house one of my favorite films of this year i wouldn't be surprised at the end of the year if this is still in my top five of the year absolutely loved this film all right so that is my best buy upgrade and save mega haul it's insane i know there's probably gonna be another upgrade and save like in october i'm sure i'll probably go all out on that one as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There's more updates to come. I have still a lot more Blu-rays to show. I've been going a little Blu-ray buy crazy lately, but I can't help it. An addiction is an addiction. So I hope you all enjoyed this Blu-ray update. And until next time, Corey from Corey Reviews. See y'all later. Holy crap.